Here we go. When you try to fly, it's all you hit a pie. Hi everybody, this is Nick with me, myself, Android.com, and I'm here with a uh, quick how-to video today, um, trying to show you uh, how to download applications from a third-party source. Uh, there's lots of okay, you got the Android market, of course, you know, that's you know been around, and you know there's lots of lots of great app applications in there. It's easy to use. It's right here on your home screen. You know, there's lots of other sources out there to get applications okay some applications that aren't even available on the Android market um, there's applicate there's a uh, uh, you know stores out there like getjar.com um, app brain even app brain pretty much has what's in the Android market but it's a, it's on your computer um, there's uh, game loft there's uh, you know handmark there's lots of different you know online stores out there and sources out there to get you know applications to your phone um, even you know websites like XDA developers uh, sometimes the developers on there you know don't, don't put it on the Android market they just put it up on their forums and you know you're gonna have to get it to your phone somehow so that's what I'm gonna show you how to do uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and select menu and settings and then come down here to applications and then development oh, I'm sorry applications not development I was gonna take you how to uh, do USB debugging for some reason okay so let's start this over we'll go menu settings applications Unknown sources right here on the top. Allow installation from of non-market applications. That's what we want checked. Um, let's go ahead and uncheck it and recheck it. It'll give you this warning: your phone and personal data are more vulnerable by, to attack by applications from unknown sources. Yada yada yada. So basically, make sure you know where you're getting your applications from. You know, don't get it from the guy in the corner of the street. You know that sort of thing. Okay. So uh, after that's all done now you can install applications from anywhere now um, if you're on AT&T if you have I believe a few of the uh, phones on AT&T were locked down where you could not select that option of allow third-party you know applications like we just did in settings and if that's the case you know you're pretty much out of luck I mean if you root your phone and go through all that process then I'm sure you could probably do it but if you know how to do all that you're probably not watching this video so um, if, if you get into the menu and settings and applications and you didn't see that option on there then you're probably out of luck but 99% of the Android phones out there you will be able to do this with so okay we're gonna go to uh, uh, gameloft.com gameloft is a uh, website that has some really amazing uh, games, uh, to be honest with you. And, you know, they're high quality games. Now, the, the games that are coming in the Android market here lately have been getting better and better. Uh, but, you know, some of these games that, you know, that have been on here have been available for a while now. Oops. And um, they're just not, they're not putting them in the Android market. This is the only place they're available is gameloft.com. So, if that's the only place they're available, that's where we have to go to get it. So uh, we go to GameLoft.com, and I want to try out this game called Hawks. Now, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, it's a, you know, airplane, you know, air fighting game. So we're going to go and click on that, and gives you a little uh, write-up about it. You can get a free trial. It shows you the size. Um... Oh, one thing I should mention, it did um, detect what phone I had. High quality gaming experience for your HTC Evo 4G. So it does, um, you know, know what phone you're using when you go to it. So it might customize these games, you know, in, you know, in order to, you know, what will work on your phone. 
I'm not sure if it does or not, but it does know your phone, so I would assume it does. Uh, so it, it gives you a few screenshots here where you can scroll between, see what the game looks like, or you can watch a video. Now this should, in my opinion, be on uh, the Android market, but it's not. So, I mean, the feature of being able to watch a video of the application itself. So we'll watch a quick video on this game. You know, you can watch it this way. All right, so, yep. That game looks pretty cool to me. Let's go ahead and pause that. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to pause it. Okay, and uh, free trial. We'll do that. That's something new to this website. It, it didn't used to have free trials, so that's a good thing. It used to be you bought it and you couldn't even return it. Uh, so now they're doing free trials. I, I like that. So it's downloaded. Okay. And now we're going to want to click on it. And that's, that's it. It says install or cancel. Gives you a list of the permissions you have to allow, just like it would in the Android market. We'll click install. It's installing. That's pretty easy, right, folks? I mean, I know a lot of people have fear, you know, shoot, a lot of people have fear of just downloading stuff from the market. I mean, so I'm sure there's even a lot more people who would never, you know, either know that you could download from other places or know how to or have a fear of doing. So I hope this, you know, kind of alleviates your fears because there's a lot of, like I said, great applications out there that aren't on the Android market. And, you know, to get them on your phone, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to, you know, just know how to do it and trust it, trust that it's all right. And uh, you can get some high quality games like this because this uh, looks like a fun one. All right, well, I'm Nick from me, myself, and droid.com. Hope you know now how to install third-party applications onto your device. And uh, if, you know, if you have any questions, you can always hit me up on the website in the comments section. Or you can hit me up on Twitter, at me, myself, and droid. Uh, or you can leave a comment in this YouTube video, and I'll uh, answer it. So uh, until next time, we'll check you out on me, myself, and droid.com. Uh, we'll see you next time.